I'm Justin Apego. I'm still out and about, not at my own place, but I picked up something to do. I'm gonna drill a hole in this wall and hang this object dart right there. But that's a concrete wall, so how am I gonna drill? I'm gonna use this drill bit, which is made for drilling into concrete, and then I'm gonna use one of these screws. It's called a Tapcon to drive it. Tapcon is the brand name. It's like Kleenex. It's the one that everybody uses. That is a masonry sprue. That is a masonry bit. See the tip on it? Can you see those wings? Those little, those little extra wings on the tip. These are, these are for cutting. These are for cutting into the concrete, boring through the wall, and for moving, moving the dust out of the way as it cuts. Make sure that you get a masonry bit and a masonry screw, and also make sure the bit and the screw need to be the same size as each other. In this case, for instance, this is 532nd, and so is this screw. So this screw will fit in the hole that this bit makes. If they don't match up, it's not going to work. And you can't drive this screw directly into the block. You need to drill a hole first. So you need this bit and they need to match. This is a cinder block. This is not a brick wall. This is a cinder block wall. What's the difference? The bricks are, are fired clay. Cinder block is concrete. It's called cinder because they're made with waste material from burning coal called fly ash and they use it they use it in the concrete as the aggregate and you end up with these and you end up with these concrete blocks anyway so so obviously first of all I need to figure out exactly where to do it I want the top edge of the frame to be even there's a mark here to be even with this line and there's a a little hanger there's a little hanger here it's obviously not even with the top edge so I'm going to measure that distance So we're going to call that an inch and a quarter, this distance right here. I'm going to find the middle of this space. That's 24 and one half inches, which means the middle is at 12 and a quarter. And I'm going to mark 12 and a quarter with my chalk. And then an inch and a quarter down from that, an inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter down there. Right at the top of that little mark is where Right at the top of that little mark is where I'm going to put my screw. Okay, I do not have a hammer drill, which would be ideal for drilling into this, but cinder block is not actually that hard to drill into. Um, these cinder blocks, you can tell by looking at them, are not super old. The older ones from the 50s and 60s, 70s, are, uh, are much harder to drill into, and you can, you can identify them by a much bigger grain. These are really super smooth, and so they're probably newer and uh, probably not as tough. Okay, I'm going to find the top of that mark. See how easily that goes in? One thing you want to do, though, one thing you want to make sure that you're doing is uh, the tip of the drill gets really hot when it's going through here. There's a lot of friction, and also the dust has nowhere to go. So you wanna you wanna allow the dust that you're creating to escape from the hole. So all that dust. So I've drilled in about half of the length of that screw. You see that? Half the length of the screw. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper because I want I do want the screw to be proud of the wall so that the thing can hang on it, but that would be too much. That's plenty. You can see by the drill bit, you can see by the marks on the drill bit, by the dust, how deep I've gone, and that'll be perfect. Now, all these threads, I don't know how you can see these threads. These threads are gonna grab onto the concrete in there much better than if I were to use a different kind of screw. All right, I'm switching. I'm gonna take this uh, drill bit out because we're finished with it, and I'm gonna put this Phillips in and go back here. Okay, if, if I wanted to, I could just drive this in. But remember, I want to leave it a little bit proud of the surface of the wall. And also, now that this, this block is compromised, I could actually split the block. See, the, the head of this screw is like a wedge. And if you drive a wedge into this stone, you could split it. I mean, if you wanted to split it, that's how you would do it. So don't force it 
too fast or too hard into the hole. All right, so that's in there really tight. We could back it out if we wanted to, but it's not going anywhere unless we want it to. So now it's just about, and that's it. We've, uh, we've hung a piece of art. Look at that. Now we've filled up this empty spot on the wall. So if you have a wall to drill into, even if it's made out of concrete, cinder block, you could do this with brick. Too. You can make it work. You just have to have the right tools and uh, the right materials. And, well, I never put on my eye protection. Um, do that. Do the eye protection. Use the right tools and the right materials. You can, uh, you can hang art on any wall. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.